Hi boys and girls, my name is Christina and I'm so excited to journey with you for your sacrament of First Holy Communion and Reconciliation. I'll see you later! Hi, my name is Natalie and I'm here in St. Kevin's Church in Kilimana. Welcome to you all! Hello everyone! Hi girls and boys, you are here now in St. Thomas the Apostle Church in Jobstown. My name is Saule, I am a pastoral worker here and I'm like other my colleagues and friends, we are so excited to journey with you in preparation for the First Holy Communion and Reconciliation. See you soon! Hello everyone, I'm Connor and you're very welcome here to the Church of Saints Mary and Lawrence in Crookstown. Would you like to come inside and have a look around? Great. Come on, let's go. So, here we are in St. Mary and Lawrence's church in Crookstown. And this is a church, this is the house of God. So Jesus lives in here and we'll be talking a little bit more about that in a while. But when we come into somebody's house, it's important that we say hello. And one of the ways that we say hello, one of the ways that we show respect to Jesus when we come into his house, is we genuflect. And how do we do that? Well, watch and I'll try and show you. So we bend this leg and we put this one, the knee down behind it like this, and that's called a genuflect, how we bend our knee to show that we're saying respect and saying hello to Jesus. Let's practice that together. So we bend this knee, and we put the other knee down behind our heel, like that, and then we stand up. We try one more time, we bend this knee, and put our other knee down behind our heel, like that. Well done, that was really good, because that's a hard thing to do should be very proud. Well done. So, as you can see, this is a really big church and there's lots of things to see in here. But I'm my friend Anya, she's in another church and she wants to show you some things over there. Anya, where are you? Welcome boys and girls to our church here in Blessington. And we've just opened the doors to welcome you in. Now in all churches, we have this space here before we enter the church. And usually in this space, we have the holy water font where we can reach to, take our holy water and bless ourselves. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. And now, boys and girls, come along inside. Here we are inside in the church here. First of all, we're going to look at the stations of the cross here. And as you can see, they line up on this side and they line up on this side. And this tells the story about the day that Jesus died. Here in Blessington, we have two sets. We have the set from the old church, which are up on the height, and we have the new set that match in with the design of this church underneath. So we have the sunrise and the sunset depicting the day that the Lord died. Okay, now boys and girls, before we move up the church, let's go and see where Connor is in his church. Wow, Anya, that's brilliant. Thanks so much for that. Well, here we are around the baptismal font. And I'm not going to say too much about this because I think somebody else in a few minutes is going to tell you a little bit more about the baptismal font. But this is where all, we all started our journey as friends of Jesus around the baptismal font. And you can see here lighting beside me a big tall candle. And I think Anya might be showing us that later on, I think as well, Anya, will you? We'll come back to that in a little while. So let's go and have a look at a few more things around this church here. Hi again, I'm standing here at what looks like a big table. But this is more than just a table. We call this the altar. And the altar is where the most important parts of the Mass happen. And it's a really holy and sacred thing. Do you know what happens to the first thing that the priest does when he comes out? Can you remember the last time you were at Mass, what the priest might have done where you're watching closely? Well, he comes out and he comes to the front and he might bow or he might genuflect like we practice down at the door. And then he comes up here, and what does he do? He gives the altar a kiss, he kisses the altar. Why? Because this is so sacred and so holy. We believe that the altar even represents Jesus himself. Can you see behind me that lovely gold-coloured door? Let's go and take a closer look. I wonder what's in there. This beautiful golden door, and you can see it's got some other lovely colours on it as well. It's got red and blue and green, and a lovely big white symbol here right in the middle. This is a really special place. 
This is called the tabernacle. And we believe that Jesus lives in here in the tabernacle. So every time when you come to mass and the priest gives us Holy Communion, sometimes he takes it from here and sometimes he consecrates it at mass. And what's left lives in here. And that's why Jesus lives in here in the tabernacle. If you're preparing for Holy Communion or if you've made your Holy Communion already, you'll be learning all about this. That Jesus is, lives in this little piece of bread that looks like bread, it tastes like bread, but that we believe has become the body of Jesus. And that lives in here. So this is a really special place. Let's go back over to Anya. I think Anya wants to show us something else. Anya, what have you got to show us? Now, every Sunday, or any time we come into the church for a prayer service, we'll usually see people reading from the lectern. This space here is called the lectern. And we read God's word, the word from the Bible. And this tells us all about God's family and in turn about our family. Now this particular lectern is made of wood, beautiful. And we know that Jesus would love this because um, Jesus' father Joseph was a carpenter and he would have been able to make different bits of furniture like this. And on this particular lectern, we have the four animals here and these represent the four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. And now, I'm standing beside this very special candle and there's a candle like this in every church and it's called the Paschal candle but sometimes we call it the Easter candle and this special candle is lit for you on the day you were baptized so we get a new one every year at Easter time and when you go visit your church try and see if you can find your Paschal candle and now we look and wonder what Connor is doing. Wow, thanks, Sonia. That was really brilliant. Now, I want to show you something else, boys and girls. You see this here? This red light, you see this red candle? That never goes out. We never let that candle burn out. Do you know why? Because that candle tells us that Jesus is here. So every time you come into the church and you see this red candle burning, you'll know that Jesus is here, that he's in the tabernacle and he's deserving of our respect and deserving of our time. And sometimes he's deserving just to come in and we sit and we pray to Jesus and just take some time out. In every church in Ireland, we have statues of saints and we call them shrines. And every church has different shrines. But here in Blessington, we have this special one and it's to St. Joseph. You can see he has his carpentry tools in his hand. But this year in particular, the Pope has asked us to remember Joseph in a very special way. And all of these shrines represent people who have been very holy and very close to God and very close to Jesus in their lifetime. And we also have the shrine to St. Anthony here. And he's always holding the baby Jesus. So boys and girls, that's our tour of the church. What I want you to do is the next time you go into your church, have a look around and see, can you find these things? See, can you find the holy water font at the door that Anya showed us? See, can you find the stations of the cross? See, can you find the baptism font where you were baptized, maybe in your church or in another church? See, can you find the ambo or the, le the lectern as it's called sometimes, so it's either called an ambo or a lectern. S then see can you find the altar table I think that would be fairly easy to find see can you find the tabernacle where Jesus lives and see can you find the sanctuary lamp this, like this big red one up over my head so that's what you've got to do the next time you come into a church have a look around and find all these things well done everybody have fun in your search Hi boys and girls, now we are here at the Baptism Fund. First of all, thank you Anna and Connor for bringing us on the journey. It was great to see the stations of the cross and maybe boys and girls in your own time, you could go to your local church and have a look. Where do you find the station of the cross? And most importantly, where is the Baptism Fund? The reason why I'm here at the Baptism Fund is because this is where it all started. A few years ago, your mummy and daddy, your granny and granddad, and maybe siblings, 
all came together around the baptism font for you to be baptized. For some parents it might feel like only weeks ago, but here we are preparing for the next step on the faith journey of their child. And you see here in the background a picture of two people. Do you have any idea who this fella is? Yes, exactly, it's Jesus. And this man here, you might see, he has a shell in his hand and pours the water over Jesus' head. Any idea? What did you say? Yes, exactly, it's John the Baptist. John baptized Jesus. And when you were younger, you were baptized in your church. So we are here together now for a short little prayer. So maybe you can ask your mommy or daddy or maybe your granny is there or your childminder to light a candle. So maybe you can pause the video and just go and light a candle. Now that you have the candle, which is always a light of Christ, where we remember that Jesus is always with us. We are here around the baptism font. And I ask you to just sit in silence for a moment. Maybe you'd like to put your hands together for a little prayer. Some prefer it this way, others prefer it that way. There is no right or wrong way to pray. God will always hear us. So just become quiet for a moment. Oh, I hear the telly is still on. You might like to turn off the telly. And just be for a moment. And then we start like we always do. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, on the day of our baptism, you said to us, we are your beloved son and daughter. We are so special in your eyes. Let us never forget how unique, important and special we are. And let us always share the light with others. Is there something else you'd like to add to our prayer? Is there someone that you would like to pray for? Let us think. Oh, what about your granny and granddad? Let us say a prayer for them. Or maybe someone is in hospital and needs our prayer. Or what about your family? Let us just close your eyes and maybe you can have a little chat with God. Tell him what's going on in your heart. And when you are finished, just say Amen. Amen. So we finish our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. I see you soon again. One of the Holy Communion songs we absolutely love here in St. Thomas's Parish Church is this, which was taught by an Indian priest, so I'm told, some time ago. And every year ever since, we all sing it. So now we want to teach you. Please stand up. Make sure there is no things around you, no furniture to hit. And I'll ask Christina to join me. And there it is. Are you ready? Yeah, I think you are. Okay. So. See, we 
changed our position slightly because I am going to play now and sing with you. And Christina is going to do some dancing here. One, two, three. I want to clap, clap, clap. I want to snap, snap, snap. I want to clap, I want to snap and praise the Lord. And when the gates are open wide, I want to sit by Jesus' side. I want to clap, I want to snap and praise the Lord. I want to zoom, zoom, zoom into my room, room, room. I want to zoom into my room and praise the Lord. And when the gates are open wide, I want to sit by Jesus' side. I want to clap, I want to snap, I want to zoom into my room and praise the Lord. I want to fly, fly, fly into the sky, sky, sky. I want to fly into the sky and praise the Lord. And when the gates are open wide, I want to sit by Jesus' side. I want to clap, I want to snap, I want to zoom into my room, I want to fly into the sky, praise the Lord. I want to sing, 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 I want to shout, shout, shout. I want to sing, I want to shout, praise the Lord. And when the gates are open wide, I want to sit by Jesus' side. I want to clap, I want to snap, I want to zoom into my room, I want to fly into the sky, I want to sing, I want to shout and praise the Lord. And praise the Lord. Well done everyone, thank you. We'll do it again.